Hello my crafty friends. In this video I'm going to complete this art journal page. I started it a while back and didn't continue because I was stuck as to where I wanted to take it but I had an idea of how I wanted to continue it so I'm going to do it in this video. I'm adding some clear gesso over the roses so that I'm able to do ink work and paint work over them and I'm adding a thin layer of gesso around them on the rest of the page. I'm using my texture paste and a stencil to do some stenciling work across the page. I'm trying to get the stencil pretty close to where the rows and the leaves are to try and blend between the background and the napkin. This is one way that I will be able to blend the outside of where I've cut the napkin to the rest of the page. And you'll see as the video progresses, the colors I choose and use will help that blending so you cannot actually see where the napkin starts or finishes. Once the texture paste is dry, I'm going to start with the painting. I'm using a combination of acrylic paints and watercolors that are in the tubes. And I'm only going to be using greens and I start with my lightest color first. I'm using a lot of water to help the color blend and flow. A combination of a very wet paintbrush and my spray bottle and as you can see it helps the color move in between the grooves of the stencil. I do wipe those long dribbles of water that sort of tend to go down towards the spine of the book as I don't want too many puddles, I want the colour concentrated more on the stenciled areas. I'm going to continue this technique using a variety of different green shades until I'm happy with the background. I'm adding some gesso with my finger on two areas where there's no stenciling. I just want this to be a bit brighter white to give more of a contrast. I want to balance the colors a bit so I'm going to make an orange with the acrylic paints that matches the roses and do some splattering.
I'm now going to add some wording. I found this beautiful quote from Dale Carnegie in one of my Kaiser Craft pages. It's a 12 by 12 inch paper and in the corner there was this quote that I really like. So I've cut it into strips so each sentence or each group of words is stuck separately and I'm just going to stick that down on the right hand side in the space with the hot glue and then the page is going to be done. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it brought some inspiration for you to create your own projects and I hope it helped you to find a technique to blend the background of napkins when you use them in your art journal. I'd like to thank you very much for watching my video. Please do subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell button so you can get notifications of, of all my new videos. I'll see you again soon. Bye.